Hi everybody, it's Sharon from Mad Paper Crush here. I am participating this month in the You Me Same Three Challenge from Michelle from Mickelnay and from Tiffany from Southern Gals Designs. So we're looking at the three things that I got. One was a wooden star, the next one there was a little button, and also a little brass safety pin. So those are the three items I received that I'm going to be working on making this mixed media page. So I'm just starting out with a little bit of white paint. Um, I chose a um, pages in my journal that had a lot of stuff already going on on it. So I wanted to just kind of tone that down a little bit. So I'm just adding some white paint to get that first layer going and cover up some of the um, busyness that was already going on in there. After drying that, um, I decided I wanted to try and cut out, I have this um, book that was actually accidentally sent to me and it's just a bunch of cartoons, and but I like the colors in there. So I thought I would just cut out a couple of things from that page that I might be able to use um, you know, on my new page. So I was trying to get things that weren't very um, recognizable with my punches so I was trying to just get the colors and maybe some different and interesting shapes um, out of that page without you know getting faces or you know recognizable pieces in there. So after I got everything punched out, I am, you know, you can see me just crunch, kind of playing around with things because I'm still coming up with an idea in my mind. I didn't really have too much going on. So I decided to start by um, distressing those punch circles that I punched out um, because there was some white in there and I don't normally like to have too much white on um, the pieces and things that I put down. I like a more um, muted monotone look um, to, to some things that I do. Now I'm just adding some inks in here to get some color on the page. So I just chose a couple that I liked together. It's like a um, mustardy color and then like a rust color that I'm using together here. And then I just grabbed a paintbrush to kind of spread them out a little bit on the page and get that color spread um, sort of throughout the the page. I also used a little bit of water to kind of help um, everything go a little bit further and then you'll just see me kind of adding some more colors and some more waters and or some more water and spreading it around the page a little bit. And then after I dried that part, I grabbed some pastels that I haven't used in like forever. And I just wanted to kind of see, I just wanted to play around with them and kind of see what they did on the page. So um, with the paint and the different book page that was underneath and then the paints on top, I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. So I just put some marks on there and then um, used my finger to kind of spread the color around. And then I kind of chose some other colors, same thing, the um, pastels with um, similar colors to that color palette that I'm already going with and, and put those on there. So now I'm figuring that the, um, there's just too much color <laughs> on these punches that I punched out. So I'm adding a little bit of white on top of there to kind of tone them down just a little bit. I wanted something to show through, but I also kind of wanted to um, just have some layers on them a little bit. 
And here I, I was going to take this out because I didn't end up using this piece, but I just, I decided to leave it in. Um, I had a piece of lace that I wanted to use and it was a crocheted piece of lace. Um, so, and I, it was very white, so I wanted to try to, you know, change it up a little bit. And so I used a little bit of Distress Oxide on this, um, adding it to it. And it kind of, you know, didn't really do what I wanted it to do. So, um... I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll like it in a little bit when I started adding some more things to it. So uh, you'll see that later I decide to not go with it, but um, I left it here for now. So now I'm just cutting out my focal point there and adding some distress to that picture as well. And I've decided that I wanted to add more layers. <laughs> I don't think you can ever go wrong with more layers. <laughs> um, so I grabbed some bubble wrap and then I got some paint and I just used my palette knife there to um, add a little bit of uh, paint onto the bubble wrap. And then I'm just kind of um, pressing it down around the page to add some color and some um, texture on there. And I really like the way that turned out there. All right, so moving on, I wanted to add a couple of um, fabric pieces onto the page there. So mostly I just have um, paint and paper right now. I decided I wanted to um, have some fabric, so I grabbed just some scrap pieces that I had. So some denim, I had a little uh, piece of like black velour there, and then some um, sari ribbon that I'm um, kind of just crumpling up and putting on here to add a nice bit of texture to everything. And you can't really see what I'm doing here. I, I realized I was a little bit off camera, but I just had taken a little piece of red ribbon and I wanted to push it through the button that I received in my Yumi Same 3 packet there. So I'm just using um, a little awl to kind of get the ribbon to go through because it was um, about a quarter of an inch ribbon and the holes were really small in the button. So I'm just kind of pushing them through so that they, I have some ends coming out of that button when I glue it down. And then I just took a charcoal pencil and it broke on me a couple times. <laughs> I was chasing around the tip there. I had to sharpen it a couple times, but I just wanted to add some um, black marks to the page. And so I just added some circles around the bubble mark makes that I had done. Um, I smeared them out just a little bit and then I continued by adding some more um, marks throughout the page to add some of that black color in there. All right, I'm moving on to the focal point a little bit, and I picked another piece of fabric that kind of had some of the colors that I was already working with in it, and I wanted to kind of use that as a frame for the black and white picture that I had. So I tore a little bit of that apart so that I could put that behind my picture, and that would just add a little pop behind the black and white picture. And now I just take some time with the pieces that I've kind of put together and I'm just trying to get an idea of where I think I might like everything before I decide to glue anything down. So I just do a little um, playing around to see, you know, which, which side I like sticking out. Do I want it vertical, horizontal, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just kind of working out the, um, 
you know, how it's going to look um, before I glue anything down there. And now I am starting to glue things down. So we feel like we're bringing this thing in for a landing, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm spreading out the glue on the back of the fabric just so it doesn't um, show through there. Sometimes that glue that I'm using kind of bleeds through a little bit. So um, I'm glued down the fabric and I'm going to go ahead and glue down the main uh, picture that I have in there as well. And then in a minute, you'll see that I finally decide to put on some of those punches that I did in the very beginning. So um, I'm adding a little bit of um, charcoal around the edges so that they kind of have some nice distinct black edges. And then I'm just going to glue them in different places around the page. So I had about four of the small circles punched out and I decided for my fifth circle I would use my button with the ribbon pulled through. So you can see I just glued that down onto the paper there. And I found this little vintage sticker that I decided I wanted to use um, on here as well. And it... Um, once again, had some of the same colors I was looking for, but I also liked that it added a little more um, of darker colors, so there's more contrast. I had some of that sort of orangey, reddish color in there, that rust kind of color, and then also some browns in the border there. I liked that as well. And I decided to uh, glue the wooden star onto the fabric. Um, that I was putting together. So I don't actually put it onto the page yet, but I did glue the star down. And I decided I wanted to have some words here. So um, because the picture is so much fun, I think it's an actress like in a costume for Theodore or something like that. Um, she looks, you know, a little silly, but also I just love it. So um, I stamped on a piece of paper there, the play is the thing, um, because I thought that would be a fun little um, saying to have on this page. So um, once again, I'm back to marking up some things. Um, I think I was taking a look at those circles and kind of realizing that they weren't popping for me. Um, so I thought maybe if I added some more borders to them that they might um, pop a little bit more. So, and I also am adding a border there to um, the main picture. Now for uh, that pencil, I am using um, an aqua, uh, no, a Stabilo pencil there and that's why I decided to put water on it afterwards because that sort of spreads out um, that color. And so now I think I've finally decided where I'm gonna put that fabric um, and I'm finally ready to glue it down. And um, I decided to use the little safety pin to kind of pin that paper that has my words on it. I thought that would be a fun way to kind of showcase that pin there. Um, I didn't put it through the page itself. I just put it through the little piece of paper that I had stamped on and I'm gonna glue that down onto the page um, to kind of look like it's you know holding it down in place there. And I like the way that ended up looking. So now after all that punching of those um, holes out, the, the little big circle and small circles, I realized, or I decided, that I thought it was too plain. Um, I felt like the page was just kind of running together um, and nothing was really standing out. So I had some of these, um, I had a paper, kind of like an under paper that I had made and added some lines to, and it had some bright blue on it and it matched some of the fabric colors that I have under my main picture there. So I punched out some more circles from that paper, hoping that it would sort of add some pop 
um, to the page because I just really felt without it, it wasn't really wasn't really doing much for me. So I went ahead and picked some fun ones that had a lot of blue on them and went ahead and glued them down right over top of everything else I had done. <laughs> And then just to um, add a little symmetry to the pages, I did go ahead and add one of the circles to the left side of the page. So I felt like I had, had, I had all those circles on the right side and I wanted to kind of continue that over onto on the left side. So I added a little one of the circles there and then just cut off the excess that was stick, sticking up over the top there. And then of course I had to go back in and add some marks um, around it so that that would kind of match what I had done with the circles on the other side with my stabilo. And after that, I'm going to call this done. So I hope you enjoyed watching this You, Me, Same 3. I want to thank Michelle and Tiffany for this wonderful um, challenge that really helped me grow. So thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.